Hi everyone, the Joyful Yogini here. So what are some sexy things that you could, let's say, text your husband, your girlfriend, your uh, boyfriend, your wife, whatever. Now, um, it, it's what someone feels sexy is going to be very unique to the individual. And so there's not just like, if someone were to ask me, what is like the one sexy thing that I could say that will drive my girlfriend or boyfriend or husband or wife crazy over text? And the thing is, communication is really important so you can get to know what they do like. But why not trying some stuff out and then talking to them or feeling their reaction? Okay, so for example, if my husband were to send me a text, and he has done this, uh, such as I'm thinking about last night, maybe fire emoji, maybe eggplant and water spraying emoji, um, good thoughts, looking forward to connecting with you soon. Or, um, you know, I'm, last night was freaking awesome, I've been thinking about it and I'm so much in gratitude for you or I'm so lucky to have you, let's say. Or maybe it'd be a different type of text. Maybe it will be like, I was just thinking about you and uh, picturing your body and uh, thinking about what I want to do to it. Fire emoji, heart splash emojis, right? Like things like that. And then, and those messages are amazing, so amazing. Why not even throw a picture in? Now, it depends on your relationship with this person and how long you've been seeing them. And, you know, if you're just starting to connect with them, they might not want like a dick pic, like, right, like, bam, <laughs> right? You might need to work up to that a bit. Everyone's going to be a little bit different. Um, but my hubby sent uh, a, a really nice uh, dick pic out of the blue the other day. It was fabulous. It was so great. It even had a little bit of creep, pre cum on the top, which is just like, oh, that is like a work of art. Thank you for the gift. You were really thinking about me. <laughs> now, uh, something else that I wanted to share is the energy behind your words is really important. Because if I were to say, yeah, this is what you should say to them, and then all you did was simply type that send and not really feel the words. It's just doing an act. That is very different from actually feeling and meaning those words, like 100% meaning them and feeling them. So it's about not making these acts contrived. If you want to add some spice in uh, your sex life, then it's going to be, you really need to mean it and feel it. Now I'm an empath and not everyone, or not everyone feels energy in let's say the way I do or another empath does, you know? Not everyone um, is an empath. But for the empaths out there, we feel energy. And if we get a message sent to us that really no thought, it was just putting the words in, do you know, just let her know I'm thinking about her, let's say, uh, that's the energy I get. And I get no meaning from that. Like, why did you even spend the energy in sending that if you don't really truly feel it? So, but when a message is sent and you are feeling it, and maybe you are right in your second chakra, like your second chakra is just like, I am totally thinking about you and I, and I'm getting excited picturing what I want to do to you and what I want you to do to me. Like if you are in that space and feeling it in your second chakra, as you're typing these words and hitting send, that energy is way more powerful and will fuel and feed into their second chakra. If you want to have a better sex life, you guys need to be feeding into each other's second chakras. But then to take it to a whole new level, 
is feeding into that heart chakra at the same time. So now that is depth of relationship. That is taking that total sexiness and then adding in love, which feels so like when you talk about depth, it was like in the image that was coming in my head, it was I, I was seeing something three dimensional, but then all of a sudden it changed to be another image of another, another image, another, another image, another image, another image. So it was like, instead of three dimensional, it's like 12 D, <laughs> right? Like it is just really getting into that heart expansiveness should you want to. You might be finding even relationships that don't have that heart depth to the relationship. It's just all sex. That's not going to last. And that's not going to be fulfilling. So maybe temporarily you're getting a little bit of a release. Maybe it's associated with having some fun, right? If you're having some fun. And maybe you just need to have some fun and having that second chakra feel good is bringing in that element, that, that second chakra feeling. So it's like you can use sex as a tool, but in order for you to truly get into that place of passion, um, passion, sexiness that is holy fuck, like I just love being with you. I love, I, I love and I'm so much gratitude for our connection. Look what a beautiful person you are from the inside out. Like truly embracing them and none of us are perfect and there's going to be things that drive each other nuts about. Like there's going to be aspects and you need to decide is that okay to live with for you? Because you either have to somehow embrace those things that really piss you off. Well, you don't have to, but you could be happier if you do. You could be more fulfilled if you do. So you can choose to find a way to embrace it. And you don't have to love it. It doesn't necessarily have to be your cup of tea in any way. Maybe you don't even like tea. You'd rather in a, an espresso than tea, right? Tea or tea with milk, dishwater right? Maybe you just can't relate to that. But they really relate to that. They relate to that so much. And that is a part of who they are. And so when you don't accept someone, like you don't have to full on, yeah, I'm there with you, but you can be like, it's a part of you and I love you. So that quirkiness about you, I'm fully going to embrace. And yeah, sometimes it's going to piss me off because it's a button of mine, but I'm just, all I'm going to do is I'm going to notice that it's kind of annoying me, but because I've had this revelation that I love you and I want to have that full on heart chakra open to have the most mind blowing sexual and love connection that you've ever had before. So it will take a little bit of work, right? So now that you've changed your perception about them and you want to love them for all that they are, when that button gets pushed and you find yourself a little bit annoyed, all you need to do is acknowledge that annoyance and then go, oh yeah, so this is something about them that I really don't like and it was kind of pissing me off. So um, I'm gonna find a way to, to send them love and send myself love. I need to forgive myself for not fully accepting them, but it's just not really my cup of tea. So it takes a little bit of a shift. I need to shift that thought pattern, shift that thought pattern. And I need to put some energy into it, be conscious of it, because I don't know about you, but I wanna be happier and happier and more fulfilled. So sometimes I can have those things that bug me and I'm gonna to choose to look at it or not. And uh, because I'm gonna to choose to look at it, I am going to work towards having some ways to soften that reaction, soften my experience with it so I can have more fulfillment. Now, you might discover that, wow, that thing that they do, it really affects me and it, I have to put a lot of energy, like a, it seems like a lot of energy to be able to get in a good space about it. 
And, and maybe it's because it's how often it happens. Maybe it's uh, the length of time that it is, that it happens, whatever this is, right? Maybe it's the intensity of it sometimes. And uh, maybe it's just been an ongoing thing that's just been happening that you don't see changes in. And because it's simply that it's them. So you either need to embrace that that's who they are, honey. That's who they are. So, but it's okay for you to choose something different if you want. You can either stay with them and choose to work on embracing it all so you can be more and more fulfilled and more and more happier because you deserve to have that. Or you can choose to let something go and go for something new right? That where you will get more of the fulfillment because now you're clearer on what you need. And so if you're clearer on what you need, it doesn't make you selfish going after what you want. It just means that you want to be lit up more and that makes you more successful and more abundant because you're lit up. So yeah, if you if you want to call that selfish, then selfish is a really good thing. It's a really good thing for you to be selfish now and go after what you want and have the experiences that you want and it doesn't make you a bad person. Okay? So you have to choose. In the meantime, before choosing, you can just simply work towards opening that heart and embracing and noticing the crap as it comes up and can you embrace that? Is that the experience you want to have? And if it's not the experience that you want to have, you can do something different. So wow, I didn't see all that coming up. Um, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Keep making it sexier and sexier for yourself. From my light to your beautiful, kick-ass, sexy-ass light. I need to, you know, sexy-ass light, yes. Kick-ass, sexy-ass, I think I'm going to have to find something different. The wording is going to evolve, but it's getting there. Just feeling into the energy. Noticed it needed to shift. <laughs> Namaste, everybody. Namaste. Bye.